talk about a really easy strategy to increase your metabolism. In other words, help your body burn more calories. So, one way to do that is to put on lean tissue. Put some muscle on. And I'm going to also tell you what I think the easiest way to do this is. Now, if you're older, if you're 50, 60, 70, even older, you can still do this, especially if you've never lifted weights. But you can still do this. And it has to do with emphasizing your lower body. Now, am I saying leave the upper body out? No. But the biggest muscles and the most powerful muscles are in your lower body. We use them every day when we walk or when we stand up or whatever we do. Now, of course, we use upper body muscles also. It's just easier. Most experts will say it's easier to put muscle on your lower body. Now, I get comments kind of jabbing me about my skinny arms and my skinny legs. You know, I've always been like that. So I'm a hard gainer. But even I can put some muscle on my lower body at age 61. And so I've really been emphasizing the last year, my lower body. And I've probably put, and I'm someone who's been lifting weights all my life. And I've probably put three or four pounds of muscle on in a year, year and a half. But that's really emphasizing my lower body. Now, why does it speed up your metabolism? When your body is denser and when you have more muscle mass on you, you're going to burn more calories. Um, and, you know, the lifting weights, of course, doesn't hurt either because you're burning calories there. But as you improve your body composition, more lean body mass and less body fat, it's easier to maintain that. So even if you're a younger adult, you can use this strategy, male or female. You can use this. Now, I'm going to give you some exercises that can uh, work for your lower body. First, squats. You can do squats um, if you're older. Uh, you can just grab dumbbells and you can go up and down squatting with a dumbbell in each hand. You can also put the bar on your back and do squats. A, bar, uh, a barbell, you put that on your back and you do squats. You can do sissy squats. I know a lot of you probably don't know what that is, but that's just a squat where you, you hold, you stabilize yourself. So you grab something like a table or something and you squat down. As you squat down, let your heels come up a little bit and just do that a number of times. Just body weight sissy squats is going to help build your quads. Deadlifts. You can do deadlifts with a bar or you can do deadlifts with a dumbbell, just like the squats. If you do it with a bar, you're just going to hold uh, the bar in front. If you use dumbbells, you're just going to uh, hang them down kind of in front of you. You're going to go down and you're going to go up. You can also, you can do these by bending your knees, and uh, you can also do a straight leg deadlift, which is going to work more of your glutes. Of course, you want to work your calves. You can uh, just grab a table again and go up and down on your toes. Just do a toe press. Do 20 of those uh, body weights. If your balance is good, you can hold dumbbells and go up and down on your toes. So there's multiple other exercises that you can do. You can do lunges, walking lunges, split squats. But if you emphasize your legs, building muscle on your legs is going to help. It's the low hanging fruit. If you just want to put a pound or two of, of lean body mass on, the low hanging fruit is to emphasize the legs. Now, again, don't neglect your upper body your arms, your chest, your back, your shoulders. Don't do that. It's just, I have been lately emphasizing my lower body and it's helping. It's helping to change my body composition, even at my age, even at 61.
So try it. If you guys have questions about this, um, put them in the comment section. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I always relate things to what I do and what's working for me. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, if you guys like this, I, I kind of like to gear this content towards uh, anti-aging or older adults and how to stay fit or get fit, get healthy. But if you're a younger beginner, you probably uh, get a lot out of this content also. So like and subscribe if you're into that. If you have questions for me, um, put them in the comment section. Also, I'd like to hear what you're doing. What is working for you? Because just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. And it, it, it fascinates me. I love to hear what different people are doing, what's working for them, and what doesn't work for them. And I've just, I've gotten op more open-minded in my older age in a positive way, not open-minded stupid, but just open-minded realizing that other people have tried things and could work that maybe never would have worked for me. So put those things in the comment section also. I appreciate it.